Hello everyone, today I want to show you two types of waterfall charts for compensation expense reporting. So personally, I find this type of chart very handy and useful for year-end reporting. So uh, I want to share this knowledge with you to help with your, your reporting as well. So I have two cases here. The first one is what I'm showing here, uh, which is like, uh, for example, you want to show how much compensation expense you have for the year. And then you have a start of the year uh, payroll expense. And then throughout each quarter, you have a uh, progression in how much you spend and then you reach a year end total payroll at the uh, at the end of the year and then um, there's also a more complex type of um, reporting which is that you have stacked waterfall so in a real life scenario this can be that for example you start with a certain amount of payroll and then throughout each quarter you have uh, spend certain amount for base pay, the first element, and then certain amount for the incentive, which is the second element. And then this is basically reflected in the chart as well, as you see uh, by different color, the darker one being the base salary and the um, lighter one being the, uh, the incentive. So this way you know exactly the portion for each of the elements and you still have a year end um, year-end payroll amount that you can show which um, is tied to the end of the waterfall chart uh, so both are not hard to do i'm gonna show you right away so okay so now let's start with the easier one first so to do that let me first move this chart this already made chart uh, to somewhere else so move chart and then move to new sheets uh, whatever name you want to name it and then okay so here we go so you actually can also customize this chart here but then now let's go back to our um, uh, data table so this is essentially our data table um, and uh, this is actually crucial for setting up the chart uh, let's go through it uh, step by step so the first part is actually um, you have all the elements laid out and then make sure you have one blank column in between and then you have a column of say like compensation expense so let's say you start with a hundred thousand um, and then quarter one quarter two to quarter four you list all of them uh, the expense here that's your raw data and then the ending payroll is the sum of everything so that's gonna be one of your columns and then um, this is going to be a baseline column. You can name it um, baseline. Um, but the thing is to make sure you have the first one and the last one blank. And then for everything else, it's a formula that equals to the baseline of the last row um, and the compensation expense of last row. So this is like the base for the waterfall and then um, this is like the base for whatever incremental amount that you're gonna see here and then basically you copy down the formula until the second last one um, and then this is the base for each of the columns and then one way to check that you're doing a right thing is to uh, if you come uh, sum the baseline the second last one the base one and the uh, compensation expense it should equal to uh, the sum of the ending payroll so that's a sign that you, you you're calculating things right so now let's select everything that we have and then you go for our stacked uh, column chart this is a stack column chart so here you go so this is actually um, the infrastructure of what we need um, and basically you can change the chart title to something like 2017 compensation uh, expense review da, da, da. Um, and then the core uh, thing here is actually make sure you delete the baseline column so that uh, well not not delete but then you see I'm selecting all of them and then you go for outline right click and then you go to outline and make sure um, make sure that it's no fill it's no fill there so 
that is exactly how you come to the waterfall. And then usually, usually I prefer a narrow gap. So I would just click, go to uh, right click and then go to format data theory. And then you see on the right hand side, I have gap width. I usually have it more narrow so that um, it looks closer to each other. And sometimes I get rid of the grid line as well. You see, I'm um, I have the grid line selected um, and I just go delete. So I have a neat background as well. Um, one thing you're noticing here is that you see I have the baseline here, which is essentially the one um, that I just uh, did not. Uh, I just uh, basically widen it, which is exactly actually what I don't want to show. So the way you can get rid of this is simply go back to your data table, select the baseline and then delete. And then you wouldn't see it anymore. So that's how easy it is to produce the waterfall chart. Uh, the next one is uh, to produce the um, the stacked waterfall chart. Um, and again, let's move this uh, somewhere else. Let's move the chart to a new sheet. So we have um, it's going to be something like this. And then you can you can customize it, blah, blah, blah. But then let's go back to our um, data table. So this is our data table. Um, and I can tell you the the important part is also setting up this uh, blank uh, column in the front. And then for um, the base salary and incentive, also make sure you set up the data properly here. So it, you see as here, this is the data I set up for from quarter one to quarter four for base and incentive. Um, and I still have my uh, starting payroll here and I still have my ending uh, payroll on the last cell. And then now let's also um, work on the baseline. So you still leave the first and last blank, but then also see um, here, this one is actually uh, equal to the incentive. Um, and then the second one is going to be equal to, oops, equal to the baseline of the last row plus base pay and plus the incentive. So it's very much the same for what we are doing. And then as um, the same as what we did, another way to check is make sure the second last column, every single element adding up, um, it should be the sum of the last column of the ending payroll. So, okay, so this is the table that we just built. And then now we let's just go to um, still the stacked column table. And then you see this is how we built uh, the the uh, this stacked waterfall table. So again, uh, let's change the name to uh, compensation expenses review. Um, and then you see, let's still like I uh, personally, I don't like the grid line. Let's get rid of the grid line and select the baseline. Uh, and then make sure there are no fill and then see the baseline here. Um, we said we don't want to show it. So let's get rid of it there. Um, now another part. Um, oh, I also said that I don't like uh, a wider width. So I'm going to like I just um, narrowed it so that you can see here um, our chart is looking like this. Um, another thing that I would change about this chart is um, actually the starting and the ending payroll because you see here our legend say like the green color is incentive but then this is actually not the case for the starting and the ending payroll. So what I can do here is actually change um, the two bars to a different color so that um, people know that they uh, refer to different elements. So how do we do that? So when we select the bar, it usually select the whole theory uh, series. Uh, what you need to do is just go to the bar that you need, click another time. So it's selecting only in this one and then change it to some other color. So let's say I want to change it to uh, blue. 
uh, because like maybe blue refers to um, payroll. Oh no, now you see like I'm changing the whole series. So it means that I'm selecting the whole series. So then I have to do it again. Yeah, exactly that. This is exactly how uh, this compensation review uh, chart is showing and we are showing it by uh, the base salary and incentive elements. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.